with all of the questions that came in after the last video, I wanted to make sure that people understood on how to decode their current timing. I have downloaded BIOSes. They're trying to extrapolate the, the timings from those BIOSes to have a good you know uh, starting point. So what we're gonna do today is first start before we get into the rig on how to decode your, your a BIOS. So like if you download one from the web, how to pull it into Polaris editor, how to get the actual 96 hex string, and then how to use the decoding tool to get all the timings out into like a text file that that way you can go in and use the modifying tool to be able to modify it, at least from a baseline that is a known good state of good timings for the AMD GPUs on the RX series. So we're talking RX 470s, 480, RX 570s and 580s. So there's a huge amount of already effort done on those when it comes to timing straps that are a pretty decent baseline. So try to figure out different BIOSes and if you wanna to try to those timings, if you've seen people that have posted other BIOSes and you're trying to figure out like, hey, can I kind of rob Peter to pay Paul type of event where, you know, the Ubermix BIOS and its whole set won't work on a particular card that you had, you had to go with a lesser BIOS, but you wanna see what some of those cast settings are, those cast latency settings, you wanna see what what really that BIOS was deriving for your particular card. And what I mean by that is like, if you go out and search, let's say, let's full stop. If you went out and search and you said, I have an MSI Twin Frozer 8 gig card, it's Samsung memory, what BIOSes and straps were available back then? I wanna use that as a baseline. I wanna get some basic straps that were no known good states. This is the setting that I'm setting you in right now and going through and being able to decode what those would be. But what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a few pieces of software. You're gonna, and I'll give you the links to that software, so don't worry. Um, you're obviously gonna want the timing tool that, that we've been looking at. You're gonna want the uh, Polaris editor, which I'll give you the GitHub link for this version, uh, which when you launch that is going to be the thing that reads the old BIOSes. And then you're gonna want, you know, just different BIOSes that you see here. Like, so if I downloaded BIOSes, mm -hmm from some of the ones that I've went out there and modded and tested and done stuff to. And I know that, hey, this is a, this is a good BIOS for, you can see I have a couple different ones here where I've done maybe some memory tweaks or speed tweaks on this. And I'm like, man, I'd really like to know the timing on those particular uh, straps. What you would end up doing is this. This is the order of operation right here. You're gonna go in and you're gonna open up Polaris editor. You're gonna open and you're gonna, oh, let's just say you're gonna, you wanna try to look at the timing of any of these. Now what you're gonna get is you're gonna get the straps, okay? You're gonna get all these timing straps right here. That the, the 96K, the hex string, which that's what, this is what these are. These are the timing straps. This is essentially an encoded timing strap so that 96 character string transposes into the the different timing straps that you see so like you can see on this one the timing straps have been copied for this particular bios from 1500 like let's say the 2000s fine that's the one i want down here oh god i can copy it genius bros genius okay so you copy that now you got it into your memory you got it into your computer's uh, clipboard you fire up PowerShell. You want to run this as administrator, that's just habit. And then you go in, you navigate cd dot dot, cd dot dot just drops you to, you can do cd backslash, whatever. Whatever's easier for you to navigate the tool. Make sure you copy the, you go out to the web and get the R timing. I'll put that on the thing. You want to get the, uh, if you just Google R underscore timing, the very first Google result is going to be this, this thread here. And you want to download this zip file, which then will download into the two files that come into, oops, CD R underscore tab, which will auto set up the the folder for you can get into the folder and then you can do a dir to just search in there to make sure that's good that zip file is going to unzip into those two files there then you can run the if you type in a period a backslash 
and then r underscore. You need that period in the backslash because what it's saying is from the root directory that you're in, and if you hit tab, it will fill out that. You want to navigate with your arrow keys over and change it to that because you want the rx. We're looking at the rx timings. So once that's done, you move this over, back over to the end of that, and then you hit space, and then you want to control V, paste in the timing strap that you copied before. Then a space, and then give a file name, the output name. So you just say mem timing dot text, and then hit enter. That's going to create that file that you want under the folder that you unzipped those R timings to. So right there's that mem timing dot text that I just created. And now here are the timing straps decoded for that particular BIOS. So now that gives you a whole bunch of different timings to play around with. And that gives you an entire repertoire of different um, options. I mean, so like you may find a BIOS that never worked on these before and be able to look at them as find a BIOS that's working and compare and contrast to see what the timing shift difference is. And what you can do is what you'll find is that you can, you can change some of these settings and there's a calculation step to them. Like some of them, if you change them, you're going to have to change two more settings because otherwise they'll be off on a clock cycle. But we can get into that. What I want to do is first show you guys how to get to it and allow you to start getting used to using the tool. And then we'll get into like if we change the RCAS setting, what other ones that we have to change? And it's just a math problem. You have to literally do just the math problem. Not that complex of a math problem, but you have to do just basic math to figure out, okay, if I change my cast latency from 21 to 20 or to 19, what are the figures do I have to change? And you can figure that out just by using basic math on it. So it's about knowing the formula. And that's, that's kind of, it, it's not an absolute rule. It's just kind of a rule because you'll probably end up just crashing the machine over and over and over until you figure it out. But like, you can kind of change some of the rules, um, but it's just dependent on what algorithm you're trying to change. But this gets you a baseline to start to work with. And that was the first part, because what I've seen is testing, just some limited testing that it, since this tool's been out that I've done, I've been able to push more aggressive, like Ubermix 3.5 BIOSes on certain GPUs by applying the timings and now understanding, okay, so it was pushing a cast latency time that was not, that that memory was not being able to do, right? I was getting tons of memory errors. I could see the memory errors. I make a small change to that Ubermix and now it's working and now I'm getting more. Like I had a couple GPUs and we'll go through this that were only 27.5 and now I'm getting 29 out of them. And I never got 29 before because I was able to now apply some, some changes specifically to timings that were not functioning on it. And now I can push the more aggressive other DRAM timings to it. So it gets you some, some cleaner uh, abilities to get into it. <laughs> Nefarious full. God, I can't sit still. I'm so excited. That's what's fun about this. This gives us, this is a kind of cool tool. So I